I'm Sebastian, and this for me is Mine's Class, and reading Don't Take Your Snake for a Stroll by Karen Ireland. Ireland? That's neat. If you take your pig... If you take your pig out shopping, don't take him to the mall. He'll play in the dirt, and the plants are outside. And you won't get to shop at all. <laughs> Don't take your elephant down to the beach, no matter how much he begs. After hours of roving on the bottles of lotion, you'll barely have covered his legs. If you take your snake out for a slither, don't take him where the others will be. Small children will shriek, old ladies will faint, and you'll headline the, the news on TV. Don't let your chimp help you string Christmas lights. Although you think you could do a job faster, she could, but don't let him climb in the tree. The result will be a disaster. The tree will fall over. If you if you go out to dance, better go there alone. Don't take your rabbit along. You might want to cha cha. You might want to waltz. She'll bunny hop all night long. Boing ba boing ga boing. Don't take your skunk on an airplane. He might get some trouble. I think. If the ride gets bumpy, he gets scared. That could be a terrible stink. Ugh. Don't take your moose out to the movies. When he says he would like to go, the people behind him will waggle and squirm, but they won't see much of the show. You get all of their couple of TV. When you go to dine, some fancy cuisine. 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 Don't let your frog go there with you. The waiter will think they're be safe from the chef and spill spare it spare its tasteful ends you. Ends you. Frog and ice cream. Don't take your duck out waiting in reception. Where punch is served in fountain. I'll take one look and jump for a swim. No, it's better you go there without him. Your eggs will be in your tea. If you go on vacation, please go by yourself. You don't bring along a kangaroo. Mom's carrying your baby safe in the pouch. And they might want to keep you there too. Uh oh. Don't take your coyote for a night in the town, especially when there's a full moon. You'll howl and yowl as loud as you can and really can carry a tune. If you go swing dancing party, don't take your rhinoceros there. He, she's as big as a truck, her clothes don't quite fit. And guests will are likely to stare. If you walk in the park at night before dinner, think twice before bringing your gator. A lady once took her out for a walk and her gator got hungry and ate her. How? If you want to have fun without a worry, Listen to what you should do. Leave all the animals tucked in at home and take the people with you. This book is Don't Take Your Snake for a Stroll. And don't take your snake for a stroll because old ladies will faint. And children will scream like, and and it's
if you lose, if you use ten thousand um um sunscreen things, you'll barely even be done. You'll barely even um you'll barely even finish his toe. Be because elephants' toes are like this big, and there's a little boy holding a snake on a leash. And he was like, an old lady's little fan. Oh, never said that. And um, there's all these different animals, and he said, why you shouldn't um, take all of them for a stroll? And um, and then um, and why? And I know you shouldn't take the snake for a stroll because the old lady's little fan. And I don't really want that to happen. And now I'm going to say bye. Bye.